this morning, an about face, adding fuel to the debate over how America should be reopened. Ohio's governor is now reversing his state's policy, declaring a face mask is now strongly recommended in the workplace and in stores, just one day after he said a mask would be mandatory. And now Vice President Mike Pence is responding to criticism after defying the mask policy of the Mayo Clinic, speaking with employees and patients during his visit Tuesday, all of them wearing a mask. In a tweet that has since been deleted, the Mayo Clinic said it had informed the vice president of the masking policy prior to his arrival. And since I, I don't have the coronavirus, I, I thought it'd be a good opportunity for me to be here, to be able to speak to these researchers, these incredible healthcare personnel, and look them in the eye and, and say thank you. Critics, of course, pointing out a mask doesn't cover the eyes. Pence says he's tested for the virus on a, quote, regular basis, even though questions remain about testing accuracy. Meanwhile, as the number of confirmed cases in the U.S. soars past the one million mark, Dr. Anthony Fauci says it will likely be another month before anyone who needs a coronavirus test can get one. Needing is important. Everyone who needs a test, according to the way we're approaching the identification, isolation, contact tracing, keeping the country safe and healthy, that hopefully we should see that as we get towards the end of May, the beginning of June. Dr. Fauci is also warning of a second wave of the virus after summer if effective treatments are not discovered. We could be in for a bad fall and a bad winter. Nearly a dozen states have now reopened some businesses. Others are deciding if it's not worth the risk, like Massachusetts, where the stay-at-home order has been extended until May 18th. In California, the governor says the state is still weeks away from making changes. Politics will not drive our decision-making. Protests won't drive our decision-making. Uh, political pressure will not uh, drive our decision-making. The science, the data, public health will drive our decision-making. And this morning, our first glimpse at what larger businesses could soon look like. The nation's largest shopping mall owner is opening 49 malls Friday, with temperature testing available to customers, and hand sanitizer and a mask available for each shopper. And on the Las Vegas Strip, the Venetian Hotel has announced its protocol for when it reopens, including thermal scanners at every entry point, hundreds of hand sanitizing stations, sprayers releasing disinfectant in high-risk areas, and an EMT staff on the property at all times. When it comes to testing, for $119, Quest Diagnostics is now selling an antibody test online that does not require a doctor's visit.